What's up guys, Chris here, back again with another video on the channel. In today's video, I want to talk to you guys about no risk investments you guys can be making for the UCL market matchups this Tuesday. I want to talk about the market where I think it's going to be heading over the next few days, when you guys can get in on some of the Team of the Week cards, and maybe we'll talk a little bit about Thursday flipping and when you guys could be buying those cards as well. So before we get into the video today, if you guys can, drop a like on it. Let's hit 100 as the standard for every single video. Uh, sub to the YouTube while you guys are here. Tr turn the notification bell on if you're new. And get involved with the free Discord. Top left corner, I have the x Point Discord. That's for my chat on Twitch. But uh, just get involved with the Discord. The link is in the description. And get involved with us over on Twitch. We're streaming every single day there, six, seven hours a day. So... The market today, especially for icons, did pretty well. Um, now, I was able to sell a lot of really good icons today. Probably another day where we made about 200k just in icons. Um, whether I'm on the filter or I'm on, you know, the phone trading. Uh, this has been pretty good for me recently. You know, we sold our stuff from yesterday, which was good. Um, we're looking at about 4 mil in total. Uh, we actually had a couple failed experiments here. Now, I bought these at 204, and I could have sold, actually, he's like 220 plus right now. So, I could have made a little bit of profit. I decided to take the coins prior to 6 p.m. Because I did not know whether or not the market was going to react in a positive way or, or a negative way. For informs and past Team of the Weeks um, and icons, one swatches that aren't playing yet, uh, they did go up today, which was good. Some one swatches obviously went down, like an Alex Tellis went down today. Due to the fact that he is injured or just wasn't a part of the squad. I bought a Delaney last night at 63. I could not sell it overnight. I wanted to sell him at like 73. Um, kind of looking for that EU, UK people to buy in when they obviously wake up from uh, from their sleep. So I wasn't able to obviously get that done. And I want to be you know transparent with you guys. Like things that we do well, things that we don't do well on. Now we bought this Harris here at 314. And we sold it at 350 overnight. That did well. Um, and we'll get into the informs and when you guys could start buying some of these cards. Uh, the pie we bought at 87, we sold at 95. And yeah, just icon central right now. Now, as the year gets on, it's going to be a little bit easier to trade with special cards due to the fact that you're going to have a ton of special card teams that are no longer in packs. And they're just going to be fluctuating like crazy. And it's just going to be a good all time um, trading with informs and also trading with icons. And that's what we're going to be really focusing on over the next couple months as the game gets more team of the weeks and stuff like that so the market right now and what i expect the market to do today is i expect it to drop a decent amount i expect it to be a decent amount of sell-off uh and the reason for that is because people if ea is not going to change this whole scenario of you know you're only going to have to play your games uh on thursday to sunday that's pretty much like the t that's pretty much the time where everyone's gonna be buying teams so i expect the market to drop off today i expect it to drop off tomorrow as there's extended weekend league uh which i i'm somebody that is definitely taking advantage of the weekend league being extended by a day uh tuesday is going to be ucl market matchup so we'll be getting pack supply then wednesday there could be a potential loading screen for the second promo team of uh rule breakers that is what we got from when we had the one swatch team one. We got a loading screen on that Wednesday, knowing some of the players. Uh, I think it might be the full team actually, which was good because we didn't have any surprises going into Friday, uh, and that sometimes is good. So you know, I don't see a reason why the market needs to buy into stuff. Um, now Wednesday, I think is going to be our opportunity to get in on Thursday flips again. That worked really well for us last year uh, or last year last week. I'm going to be making a video on Monday or Tuesday on talking about what you guys could be buying in terms of meta gold, informs that I like, all of that. I think you guys made a good amount of coins with me um, for that, um, you know, that Thursday. And the market absolutely shot up. And I think the market is going to do very, very well again this Thursday because that is the buy time for everyone. Everyone has to buy their teams then. So today, expect Weekend League sell off with icons, past informs. Uh, gold cards and if any of those past informers drop a significant amount they're no longer being supplied right now that could be an opportunity for you guys not just to buy on wednesday but you guys could buy even earlier than that if you feel that a card is too cheap don't hesitate buy that card right so we'll just see how low it actually does drop today um 
Now, you guys came here probably for some no-risk investments. Uh, last week, we did very, very well in terms of the Man United gold non-rares and some other uh, teams as well did very well. Now, by tomorrow night, you're going to see people, or tonight actually, you're going to be seeing people at Squabble to War try to pick up some of these cards. So here are some cards that I think you guys should be picking up just for some non-risk investments. Um, they usually take a, a game from each day, Tuesday and Wednesday. And I put together a couple teams that I think will do okay. Uh, Man City being one of them. Now, Man City don't have a ton of non-rares, but they do have Zach Steffen. And if this is the only non-rare, this is a really good investment. Um, they have Otamendi, Stefan. Uh, that might be it from them. Okay, that's really good. So if you can get if you get Otamendi or if you can get Stefan at discard price, I really like that. I think that should be at least a thousand coins going into the SBC. Uh, that should happen. We'll and we'll see. Obviously, if it does, the gold rares uh, you guys could be picking up at like seven fifty and under seven hundred coins. You could even try to get it like six fifty on the bid. Um, so Man City is one that you could do this with. You can also go into Marseille. Uh, that's a game that I would probably pinpoint as well. Um, there's not a ton of like highlighted games. Uh, they're not going to use Man United this week because they used it last week for the PSG tie. Uh, last week's ties I think were a little bit better than this week's. Uh, we do obviously have Barcelona and Juventus, but I think Barcelona was used last week. So I don't know if that's going to be used. But you guys can be buying these cards at 450. Uh, just club stocking, really. Just literally club stocking uh, your club with these cards. If they're non rares at discard price, the gold rares, same thing. If these are at discard, you guys can't lose money, right? You guys cannot lose money. That's a Mandanda right there for 700 coins. It doesn't even look like this card. And you know what? I'm going to pick that up. Um, that's an 83 overall at 750 for a French keeper. Okay, of course I already have him. Of course I already have him. Okay. So, that's somebody that I would definitely be looking at. The non-rares, like I said. Uh, another two games I'd be looking at would be Atletico Madrid. Uh, that would be another tie that I think could do decent uh, for this UEFA marking matchups. Uh, like I said, get the non-rares if you can. I don't even know if they have non-rares. Uh, this is interesting. The cheapest non-rare is 1,100 coins from this uh, team. Now, you'll have to probably stop at four to 500. Uh, is there anyone else? There's Savage here as well. There's not many non-rares from uh, Atletico, so that could be uh, difficult for you. Um, now, there's another one, Salzburg as well. Um, they play in the uh, Austrian League, if I can find the Austrian League. Uh, that could be something that works as well. These menus are trash. Um, RB Salzburg. I believe I'm on the right one. Let me just make sure that I'm on the right matchup. Um, give me one second here. Atletico Madrid schedule. And they play RB, uh, RB Salzburg at 4 p.m. my time. Because of daylight savings, it's actually an hour more. So, yeah, on uh, Tuesday the 27th. So, I'm expecting Salzburg and uh, Atletico to probably get that. Just like I said, use these teams. You can look at Sevilla as well. That could be an opportunity. I don't believe Juventus or Barcelona players will get in, but in the case that they might, people will try to buy into that stuff. So look at Juve non-rares for discard, or look at Barca non-rares, or just look at the rares for discard price. The only thing you guys can look at is the UEFA Champions League rares. They were required for these SBCs um, last week. If you can get these as close to discard as you guys can, um, that would be solid. These guys are popping up every single day for very very nice prices so if you can find this at like 800 and under i think that's something that's a non-risk investment they made you know these are cards you're not gonna expect you know five to seven thousand coin upgrades on but you're gonna expect them to go up a couple hundred coins and that's why this is a non-risk investment video okay so that was kind of the uefa market matchups talk like i said i think the market is going to drop today now what i also think is going to happen though is that the market is going to go up a little bit after squad battle rewards but we've seen that multiple times. So what you could do today is you can capitalize on whatever panic is happening going into squad battles, whatever sell-off is happening on a meta gold card, a very, very popular card. Say, for example, um, let's go to a card. Like, let's say St. Max, right, is, is down to 290 or 280. That's something you guys could be looking at picking up and then selling right after squad battles. That's been happening recently. 
um, every single week for squad battles. But if you take a look at like some of the the really really um, meta cards like Joe Gomez, uh, Rashford, Son, right? If these guys get sold off a little bit, you could expect a little bit of a rise after, and you might be able to get some profit margins within that. So that could be something you guys could do for some profit there. Um, in terms of when to buy Team Luis cards, I think that Team Luis is going to be cheapest on Tuesday. That's when I think I'm going to buy mine. Uh, and I'm liking a couple. I like Timo Werner out of packs. I know Zaha could get a potential Team of the Week this week, which obviously is another striker in the Premier League. But I do like this card. He's too close to his gold. Uh, this around 300k and under I think would be way too cheap. And I think he'll rise uh, out of packs. I think that Rashford is going to rise out of packs as well. If you look at Kyle Walker, people like the English, right? This is a very, very good card. Uh, he's a position change player. He's somebody that's unique. Uh, Rashford's not going to be playing striker that much longer for United due to the fact that Martial and now Cavani is fit. Uh, Martial is getting back from suspension in a game. So he's not going to get too many striker cards at the end of this year. This could be a very, very unique card that goes up in price. Try to find like the mid fives for this if you're looking for it for a team. I think Memphis to Pie, maybe like the mid to low, uh, high 70s could be a very good buy. And I think the Delaney under 50. I mean, if you can get 50k for that, that screams to me like a Renato Sanchez investment. Not because he's Renato Sanchez caliber, but because he's a low rated card. Uh, he's got a lot of really good meta stats. And he's a position change, right? He's a CDM normally. He gets changed to a center back. That could be something that does good out of packs. Forenzi, you could buy him a discard. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Ederson, you may be in the low 60s. I think that could do very well. Like a Courtois, who went out out of packs. He gets links to the new Laporte. Gets links to Walker. These are now positions, you know, Brazilians as well. If you want to use Brazilians in their center backs. So take a look at this for some Team of the Week investments. You could buy Thomas Muller for 20k and under, and he's an 87 inform investment. You can club stock it for uh, Icon SPCs in a month's time. This is a no-brainer investment. This guy will 100% rise with Icon SPCs in a month. So that could be something you stock in your club. Um, in terms of rule breakers, I don't want to talk too much about them, but as you're watching this video, they could rise going into 6 p.m. today. And that is when I would sell them. If you have some of these cards still, I would dish them out prior to 6 p.m. You probably want to sell between uh, 12 and 3. That's probably the best time for UK. And before anyone comes in the in the video, in the uh, comments, don't ask me what do I invest in. I gave you a lot of investments in this video. Uh, and just different ways to make coins on this stuff. Look for big undercuts on icons today. That's going to be a really good opportunity. In terms of buying players for teams, I've gone on about this. And I beat the drum on this so many different times. You look at this Dembele graph, he kept going lower and lower and lower. And that was in a game, guys, that, you know, had pack supply, but also had a division rival structure where people actually used to buy teams on Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday because they wanted to play rivals to get bigger ranks. Now that the fact we don't have any, you know, demand for teams during Monday to Wednesday, you're going to see a sell-off every single day on these low-rated cards now, the guy, they will go back up on Thursday, obviously, like we saw this past week, but the rebound won't be as high as it was last week. They So, say, for example, Dembele is 50,000 coins right now. He drops to, like, 39 to 40 by Wednesday, but he goes up to 47K on Thursday and then drops again after that, and then you just see that same trend happening. Um, in terms of Thursday flips, we're going to talk about that. You don't have to buy them until Wednesday, in my opinion, or Tuesday if you want to, you know, go that way as well tuesday could be a good opportunity as well uh to buy some stuff uh anything high tier don't sell it neymar's ronaldo's mbappe's Me uh, messi's uh Mane's, uh Varane's. don't sell those cards they should withstand whatever panic is happening today if they do drop don't don't panic if you want to buy them you can buy them over the next couple of days uh before they rise on thursday so thank you guys for watching the video today much appreciated comment subscribe if you're new right here and i'll talk to you guys in the video soon Peace out.